This particular attack occurred in an isolated part of the road that runs through the Nyungwe forest in southwestern Rwanda, with the FLN terrorists targeting innocent travelers. As I entered the deep part of the forest, I found that the insurgents had set alight a bus belonging to the Omega Company, a new bus. At first, I did not understand why they would set it alight. And then I realized who they were, because they were not even wearing proper military uniforms. They had set up a roadblock, and after weighing my options, I decided to ram it, because there was no way of turning around fast enough. The moment I hit it, they started shooting. Then one of them hit my bus with a rocket-propelled grenade, and I lost control and ended up in that ditch on the side of the road. They continued shooting at us, so I broke the windshield and exited, my passengers following me as we ran. Later, we returned and found some people had been killed in their vehicles, but we were able to return only after finding our own soldiers to protect us. Many of those who did escape have been scarred both physically and emotionally for life. The first thing I heard were the bullets, and it sounded like they were pounding on the metal frame of the vehicle. We all ducked for cover, and the girl I worked with called Alice Kaitesi, who was sitting next to me, got hit in the leg. When we got down the slope, I realized that the bullet that had hit her had gone through the door of the vehicle, then my own leg and to her, so I was far worse off than she was. She used her clothes to wrap my leg and then ran off as the bullets continued flying. I was left lying there. I should have been killed. But because I had a child with me, I kept ducking down as low as I could as the bullets flew past me and the windows shattered. Eventually, one caught me in the shoulder. The survivors and the relatives of those who died have now returned to the spot of the tragedy to remember those who did not make it. My life should have ended in that ditch, but it did not, so I have decided to come back to honor those who died. We won't forget them. We thank God for protecting us, and may those who died rest in peace. We also thank President Paul Kagame and the government for the support we have continued to receive through the years, especially the health care and visits. I believe I should thank them. Twelve people died in the attacks of Nyungwe and Mgeye in Rusizi district of the western province. Twenty of those involved in the attacks have since been sentenced to prison, including Paul Ruse Sabajina, who was the head of the MRCD coalition, who got 20 years behind bars, and Kalix Nsabimana, a.k.a. Sankara, the former spokesperson of the FLN, that got 15 years.